All right. Well, good morning. This is Springer. No, I ain't been back in a while. I've been off on vacation with the kids and the wife and the family. All off, gone for two weeks. Had a guy come out here and taking care of my birds for me. I was, was kind of nervous. I had never left my biddies before. But uh, he done a real fine job, I'm telling you. Everything is just as it is when I left. Real proud. Oh, McRae's there. Little mama. I just want to take y'all out here and let y'all see how everybody's growing and looking. This is uh my little uh old English banish hand. Trying to breed that red, that gray and See if I can't come out that golden color. I'm getting a. These are my red over silver. They all looking pretty sharp. My white little fellas. Hmm? Hmm? But uh, moved all my babies around here. And got them out there in some grass. This is my uh incubator hatch of my. Great kale, so yeah. back up, baby, back up, back up, baby. I know that's going Oh yeah, oh yeah. They all come along real fine, real fine. Look at all them stags, boys. Hmm, hmm, huh? That's right. <laughs> but I hope everybody been doing good. I know I have. Life is good. Hey, baby girl. Still got a bunch of more yard rushes running around and more. Been having a bunch of neighbors come by and getting them. And... All old McRae's. I've got him all out here on this fresh grass moving around and around. They enjoy that green grass, boy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, old Shannon. Oh boy, him, I'm gonna be getting him a woman soon. As soon as I get my plan together. Hey, little girl, little girl, I didn't, I didn't breed her this year. But, uh, I use it as a surrogate and let her hatch off them a couple of kale, so. Fine little hen. Oh, yeah, I got another little kale, so in here, look. Damn little troublemaker. He just don't like associating with nobody. He's got a problem attitude. So I said, well, heck, I'm just take him and drop him off over here. And, uh, just needs to be. Have his own food bowl and his own water bowl. He just ain't quite happy. But, but, boy, hey, but, but, boy. But, but, boy. Look at all slick, though. I'm telling you. These little crosses here, man, they, they are some fine little birds to raise. I always make you real proud. You got a dog on attitude, though, just, just like his daddy, him. What's up, big boy? Huh? Huh? Oh, kill so. I know. I ain't gonna come in there and bother you and your hen. But take you down here and let you see them biddies all in that, all in that grass. One day I hope to have me a a good little brood pen bit out here in the edge of these trees where I can have me some little short saplings and all short pine trees and stuff growing in it for these little biddies to get in, you know, and roost up. At night, it'd be a lot safer. But since I got the dogs in the yard now, uh, my predators are few and far between, to say the least. Look at babies. These are all my Kelsos from this year. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's them two batches. That's a... Right there's a little gray Kelso. 
he got out and I said, heck, I'm just going to leave him down here and let him. It was easier just to let him run up in his pen with them. Back there in the back now, see, that's them uh, Egyptian Fayou maids I got. Supposed to be from Egypt. If I can do him in on them over. Boy, ain't they, uh, don't they look different than they did as a bitty. All the paperwork said they should come out looking like a gray game chicken, and boy, if they don't. Pretty slick. But all my little babies are really happy down here in this grass, boy. I tell you. Get them out here and lower that protein down on them and let them do some growing. Stretching out, flying around. Got me another little spot here fenced off in the yard. I take them down there and let them run around and fly around for a couple of hours. Yeah, a couple of days. Really helps out, man. The more you can free range a chicken, man, the better that dang chicken gonna be, I'm telling you. That's some, that's some good advice, I'm telling you. The more you can keep that chicken going on outside that cage, the better that bird's gonna be, boy. All right, little girly. Here, little girly. Oh, Mick Ray, huh? Yeah. Got her some little bitties going on. Running around, running around. This is my, uh, my Rhode Island Reds. Had a fella want me to raise him some up this year. No laying hen, you know. You gotta raise him up right. Keep them levels right on that protein. Keep them down, you know. They need a little bit, a pretty good bit when they right there as a baby. You back off on that protein right there. Let them grow. Let them get bigger. Then when the time is right, you can throw that protein to them, baby, and then it all just works out. Then they lay for years. But they looking real sharp. All my little uh wife's little chickens here, yeah, they uh all the little hatches. Hey little girlies! Hey little girlies! Little George! Hey little boy! Alright, that's right. Good morning to you. All of them turned out to be a bunch of little hens. That one little stag, he's gone. But uh, heck you can't beat some new little hens, boy. That's alright. Fella I had uh, taking care of my Chickens for me, he, uh, see him spurs on that little feller boy. He stuck his hand off in here and tried to pet one of them hens. No, he didn't realize little George put some holes in you. <laughs> this here's, uh, my old kill soul with, uh, a hen I got from Chicken Wired. She been sitting on them eggs for a minute now, boy. It won't be long. She'll be hatching them jokers right on off. I need to be thinking about getting his old ass up on out of here. He'll get all jumpy and nervy. And... Just be better to get him on out. This here is my... Uh... Silver over red, though, from Little Bullet. They all looking real good. Look at him, look at him, these little babies. Hey, little babies, hey, little babies. They looking real sharp. I believe this, uh, silver over red here. They all turned out a lot grayer, you know what I'm saying? And then the red over silver to me. I guess it's because it's that other way, you know, he's got all them bunch of red hens in the bunch. But they all looking real sharp. I'm going to be getting them on some grass here soon. Mm. But other than that, everybody's looking great and doing it up. And uh, got a couple of more ideas for some videos I'm going to be able to put out for y'all. Oh, hen pen boy. See, I mean, he took care of the water and all that real nice. Good deals, good deal. But, hope everybody's having a good week.
And uh, this is Springer. I'm out.